Second K, know what you want to be known for. That's right, know what you want to be known for. My question to each of you today, do you know what you want to be known for? And do you know what you're most known by? You see, many of us, we don't take the time to address our knowledge of what we want to be known for, and thus we leave it up to others to assign us our own brand identity. And often this identity is based on a very subjective or very false premise. You guys will walk the halls of your clients, and you will walk in with amazing credentials, and you will think you will be known for the brand that you deliver because of the service line that you represent. But your client may have a very different notion of what that is. So understand that the importance of knowing what you want to be known for will drive your brand. So I want you to take out another index card. And I want you to write down three words that best describe the lasting impression that you want to have on someone after an encounter with you. Go. Three words that best describe the lasting impression that you want to have on someone after an encounter with you. Three words that best describe the lasting impression that you want to have on someone after an encounter with you. Now, from my vantage point, I'm looking around the room. And for some of us, this question is taking a lot of thought and a lot of time. But this should be quick. This should be quick. This should be quick. You see, the longer it takes for you to know what you want to be known for, the more it suggests you lack supreme knowledge of yourself. And if you don't know yourself, analyst, how do you expect others to know you? How do you expect your clients to hire you? How do you expect others to actually follow you as leaders, to trust your opinion, to trust your expertise, and most importantly, to get you? Know what you want to be known for. This is going to help keep you focused in whether you are projecting the desired attributes of your personal brand.